Hello everyone, my name is Evan Mitchell and I'm the president of the School of Nursing, class of 2021. I'd like to say a few things in celebration of our past four years. Here we are. In the blink of an eye, we made it through college and are about to embark in our careers as registered nurses. I'd like to address a short recap of how we got here. Four years ago, we stumbled into the School of Nursing, bright-eyed and ready to tackle anything in our paths. We were met with open arms by Bio 1107. If you give yourself credit for nothing else, we survived that. We survived that while trying to find edible options at the dining hall, how to make friends, and determining when the RAs would be making their rounds. Taking these small but significant victories, we carried on to our sophomore year, where we awoke in a sweat the night before having to take a manual blood pressure during a lab practical. Along with the first introduction to clinical skills and understanding, we tried our best to pretend that everything was fine and under control while taking PNB, MCB, and some other cakewalks at classes. We determined the significance of identifying taxonomic groups of bacterium and adjusting our holistic care accordingly. We also learned the significance of abdominal percussion, I think. Then, some of us sent it overseas to the motherland. While in Ireland, we investigated local Irish cuisine, culture, and coffee. We jumped in a bog and conducted research with other undergraduates from across the world. We learned from Irish professors, some of whom had some pretty sweet tattoos. A setting of intense international research concluded with one main definitive results, lifelong friendships. To paddy wagon tours, missing buses, and a memorable musical crawl, cilantro. Then came our first clinical rotation junior year. We hyped ourselves up outside our patients' rooms, perfecting our, hello, my name is Blake, and I will be your student nurse today. After that, we panicked to determine if our stethoscopes were actually working properly and how to open a PO medication without sending it into orbit across our patient's room. Still trying to figure that one out. Fall semester flew by and we quickly prepared for what would be a spring 2020 semester with no obstacles. With no fear of a global pandemic altering the world we knew, we enhanced our clinical capabilities dance in the field house for 18 hours to raise over $1.5 million for Connecticut Children's and enjoyed our last night's studying at TEDS and TAF. One big corona later, and we were back home learning online thanks to the COVID-19 pandemic. <clears throat> this transition was not easy for anybody. We adapted and overcame, and we became more flexible human beings. As in the field of nursing, very little went to according to plan, but we stuck together to ensure success in our future careers. Thank you to the School of Nursing faculty and administration for prioritizing our education. While case studies and online simulations were not the most invigorating for students to complete or professors to teach, it was through quick adjustment and open communication with the student body that we were able to succeed. We've learned a lot of lessons that most college students wouldn't. College in general has been a trial and error, trying to figure out how to survive while attempting to create a social life. As we look on to the future with the development of a vaccine and a prospective hope in the air, it's important that we reflect on the challenges we faced and how we grew as individuals. A quote from Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman delivers an important message regarding moving forward from hardship. It is much easier as well as far more enjoyable to identify and label the mistakes of others than to recognize our own. This past year has shown us how important it is to listen and adjust in order to succeed. In the School of Nursing, we learn the significance of autonomy. Autonomous care in which a patient's individual needs are prioritized to enhance patient outcomes is the center of progressive nursing care. It is paramount that we delve into our autonomous self. Take your self-growth, whatever that looked like during our four years at UConn, and truly focus in on your individual self. Who you are is an enhanced version of who you were stumbling into the School of Nursing in 2017. Who you are is a more intelligent, understanding, and autonomous version of who you were a year ago, prior to learning in, providing care in, and surviving a global pandemic. I challenge you to take who you've become, with all our new clinical skills, a confident understanding that the normal serum potassium range is 3.5 to 5 millimoles per liter, whatever massaging the fundus means, and a focus on advocating for patient-centered care and exceed your expectations. Our autonomy is invaluable. Cherish it, learn and grow from it, and become the most true versions of yourselves. Your patients will thank you. Our time at UConn was like nobody expected. 
Let's take all we've been through, all in who we've learned from, and go out into the world. Let's do something. Value the relationships we've made in our four years. They are lifelong. Let's get after it and don't be strangers. Congratulations to the University School of Nursing Class of 2021. We did the thing.